Hey guys, tonight's movie review is for Men, Women, and Children, starring Adam Sandler, Jennifer Garner, and Judy Greer. A little bit about this movie. This movie is an ensemble piece, and it kind of looks at a few different parents and teenagers that go to this one high school. It looks at their relationships, um, concentrating on kind of social media, the internet, all these things that teenagers have access to where this is kind of the first or second generation that's been like that and um, the differences between the way the parents grew up and the children. You have one case where Jennifer Garner plays a really strict parent. She monitors every single thing her daughter does, every single thing on her phone, every keystroke she makes keystroke she makes on her computer, everything. Instead of just really talking to her about what's going on in her life, she monitors her through all of her electronics. And you can see, of course, how that affects the girl. She's not really doing anything besides being a regular teenager. And um, she does have secrets that she holds from her parents, like a secret Tumblr account and a relationship with another boy in the movie because she doesn't feel like she can be open with her mom. I mean, her mom sees, checks all of this stuff, but doesn't really know her daughter. Um, you have another one where Judy Greer plays this mother who kind of is reliving her teenage years through her daughter, reliving her chances at Hollywood and success. I guess she went out there when she was younger, didn't succeed, came back, and now she takes photos of her daughter, kind of modeling photos, but also kind of getting into a little more adult imagery, and they think that that is absolutely fine. They don't really see the consequences of it uh, until later into the movie, where they can see, you know, the possibility of missed opportunities and the fact that when you put that stuff on the internet, it's there. It's there forever. People can copy it. Anyone can see it. You don't know who's looking at it. Um, and then there are some other ones. There's a boy who uh, is this sports star who decides to quit and instead gets involved in this kind of online gaming world that his father doesn't really understand. You've got all these different characters, elements of social media and how it has to do with the relationship that the parents have with the children and whether they understand this stuff, whether they can adapt to the changing times of what kids these days do. It's kind of what the movie's about. Um, as far as the acting in the movie, I thought every di everybody did okay. Um, to me, there was one standout person, and that was Ansel Egort. I'm sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. He plays the young teenager who was in sports who now has gotten into this online gaming world. Uh, you might have seen him before in um, last thing he was in. He was the lead in The Fault in Our Stars. And I think he did a really strong, really genuine performance in this. I really enjoyed him a lot. In fact, it makes me excited about the future project that, projects that he's going to be in. I think he's really someone to watch. And I think that you know, he's not just a pretty face young actor. He has a lot more to offer. He was really the standout in this for me. Everybody else did okay, but he kind of shone in his role. Um, the story itself, meh. I mean, yeah, I understand. Times are changing. The kids do have a lot of things that the parents weren't exposed to growing up and that maybe they don't understand. Okay, there were parts of the story that were interesting and that drove emotion and passion about seeing what was next. Uh, and then there were other moments where the pacing was really off, where it was really slow, where there were long periods of silence. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but in this, I mean, you noticed a little too much. Uh, you were like, wow, there really isn't any background music in most of the movie, most of it is just relying on the dialogue and some background sounds, which is okay, but it's not really what people are used to, and I don't think it really worked in this film. Um, also, one thing that really bothered me a lot, um, they kept on the narration, and there's narration in this movie done by Emma Thompson, and it keeps on talking about different elements in space, and 
this is based on a novel. It might have been connected into the story way better in the novel. In the movie, it doesn't work. And it keeps on, it's like interrupting the film over and over and over again. And it just, it breaks the connection, in my opinion, of you being in the film, in what's happening. Um, and also, it kind of has this self-important kind of feeling. Like, I personally... I don't like when the movies kind of speak down to you, when the movie itself is kind of snobbish and has this sense of self-importance. And I think this movie does that, and I really don't like that. Even if the movie is amazing, if it has that air of self-importance, I'm going to lose some interest. I'm, you know, let me make that decision for myself. I don't like it being made for me, and I feel like in the film it did that. I really didn't like that at all. Um, I'm going to give this movie a C. It's whatever. There were some scenes that I, I really enjoyed. I could see how this could have been a stronger movie if the pacing had been better and if it hadn't thought that it was so awesome. Um, I actually wouldn't really recommend seeing this at all unless you're a fan of Jason Wrighton's movies. Um, I mean, he's done Juno up in the air. And personally, I thought Juno was kind of, I mean, it was good, but I think the hype was even too big on that. Um, so he kind of has this I'm so awesome thing that I don't quite enjoy. But if you're a fan of his films, maybe you will enjoy this. I think for the general moviegoer, you could really skip this movie. It's not worth your time. The C for tonight, that's all I got. Thank you so much. Um, as always, I'd love to know your comments if you've seen this film, um, whether you liked it, didn't, if you've read the book, how it stacks up against that. And as always, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your time, you guys' comments, your input, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.